In this lesson, we're going to talk about stance and body positioning. If you work to perfect your stand-up paddle technique with all the information from the first part of this course, but you use poor body positioning, your performance will suffer through a loss of power, balance, and efficiency. This is why body positioning is an area of technique that can be just as important as all the phases of the stroke. As in almost any athletic endeavor, you want your paddling movements to be made through a low and powerful stance. If you stand with your feet together and have a friend push you slightly, chances are that you're going to fall over easily. Stand with your feet a little wider than shoulder width apart and it's a different story. A low and wide stance will give you the strong foundation from which you will be able to recruit your large muscle groups and derive the most speed, power, and stability. Use this lesson to learn how to put your body in the best positions possible for optimal paddling performance. Your legs should be no less than shoulder width apart when standing on your board. Bend your knees slightly and tilt your hips back. The more relaxed your stance, the more range of motion you can produce for better power and technique. Bent knees and tilted hips allow your body to have a lower center of gravity and your movements to have more fluidity. This positioning is especially helpful in adverse conditions such as wind and chop. A lower stance allows your bottom hand to grip the paddle closer to the blade. A lower grip gives you better leverage and more power in the stroke. Imagine trying to shovel dirt with your hand high up away from the shovel blade as you stand straight up with your feet together while attempting to move heavy loads of dirt around. It would be pretty hard, right? What you would likely do instead would be to put your hand as close to the blade as possible while you create a nice wide stance to squat low from the hips and knees and get the most power. From this position, you will be able to use your entire body to move the dirt around much easier than having your hand high up on the shovel blade with a narrow stance. This visualization should help you in getting to a lower stance when paddling. The same thing is going on. Experiment with the width and positioning of your feet and hands to determine where you feel the most balanced and powerful. Test different positions by moving one foot slightly in front of the other and your bottom hand up and down the paddle shaft. There is no absolute correct way to stand on your board or hold your paddle as long as your stance and grip are not too narrow. Practice using a strong hinge in rotation while driving with the legs to add power to your stroke. Test which body movements create the most power in board speed using a GPS and adjusting your stance and stroke. Realize that you will change your body positioning for maximum power depending on the water conditions you are paddling in. Your stance will ideally be wider when you are paddling in rough, choppy conditions than if you were paddling in pure flat water. You can learn more about the details of adjusting your body positioning and stroke rate in the Sub Technique 102 course.